Hello, hello. Welcome back to my sauna. Just kidding. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Avery. If you're new, I am a holistic nutrition health coach and I post a lot of health and wellness content on this channel. And so I thought I would mix it up today and bring you into my sauna and share with you some of the benefits that I've experienced and also some benefits that I've done some research on and that I've heard about. So I'm going to give you all my tips and tricks with sauna therapy and just my experience with it. So I have been doing it for, I want to say about 20 years now. I started when I was kind of young because they found different toxins in my body. And the best way to get rid of toxins is through sweating. So I did start pretty young. Um, I even went to this like special clinic to do sauna therapy a few times a week when I was younger. Um, I remember it very vaguely, but um, it was like an hour away from my house. And so uh, my parents ended up buying this sauna that I have today so that I could just do it at home. And so I've been very lucky to be able to have access to a sauna like this um, pretty much throughout my whole life. So I feel very lucky and shout out to my parents for um, providing me with Asana and to help with my healing journey. Anyways, I just wanted to go over a list of benefits. Um, I do have some notes here in my sauna, so I'm just gonna go through some benefits and then I'm gonna talk about my experience with sauna therapy. So sauna therapy really improves your blood pressure and your cardiovascular health. It also may decrease your risk of heart disease, stroke, Alzheimer's, type two diabetes, pulmonary disease, and arthritis. It improves your detoxification and gets rid of toxins and heavy metals that you may have in your body. It improves your skin health. It improves your sleep. It boosts your mitochondria and it helps with your muscle pain and joint pain and it also reduces inflammation so those are just some benefits that I found online and some that I've experienced for myself and there is a doctor her name is dr. Rhonda she has so much information online about the benefits of sauna therapy so if you just google like dr. Rhonda sauna there will be a whole bunch of videos online resources that you can get from her but one of the studies that she she shares came out of Finland. It was basically a study of people doing a sauna two to three times a week versus four to seven times a week. And they did find that if you take a sauna two to three times a week for at least 20 minutes, you are 22% less likely to die from cardiac death. And so if you were to extend this to four to seven times a week, you will then get a 63% less likely chance to die from cardiac death. It also reduces your risk of the diseases that I mentioned earlier. 63% less likely to die from a cardiac death or other diseases. Like that's kind of a big deal. And so what I've been aiming to do recently is to do a sauna four times a week at 20 minutes. And I do have the heat to about 140 degrees to 145 degrees Fahrenheit. That's pretty much as high as my sauna will go but you can find saunas that will go even higher but that's just what I try to do and I do have an infrared sauna so it really heats up your core body temperature so that's the sauna that I have right now there's also other saunas and there's things like a steam room and things like that and you can also find saunas at your gym there's a lot of sauna businesses that are popping up especially if you are located in the city um, I know in my city Currently, there are several sauna places that I can go if I didn't have this sauna in my home. So um, there's plenty of ways to sweat. And then there's also a sauna blanket that you can purchase that is a little less expensive than getting just a whole sauna. But just keep that in mind. Also, you can get like a used sauna. I've seen some on Facebook Marketplace if you're interested in purchasing your own sauna. So now I'm going to be talking about my experience with sauna therapy. So, so first, I like to work out before I get into the sauna. I don't don't do this every single time but I do like to extend my heart rate so I'm getting my heart rate up when I'm exercising and so when I get into the sauna I'm kind of extending it and getting that heart rate up for a little bit longer because the sauna is great to increase your heart rate so I do like to 
start by working out and then getting in the sauna but like I said I don't do that every single time when I was younger my mom was telling me that when I was doing a sauna really regularly I had all these bumps on my back and it was basically my body like getting rid of all the toxins that was built up in my body so I found that really interesting I haven't really experienced that in my adult life but when I was a kid apparently that happened to me. The benefits that I've experienced now are really um, better skin health, more energy, and better sleep. Those are probably my top things that I've experienced. Obviously, I can't really predict um, what kind of diseases I'm preventing, but it sounds like I'm preventing quite a few. Oh my gosh, it's hot. I usually don't like talk. I usually don't talk while I'm in the sauna, so I'm like really kind of struggling. It's almost like you're doing a very low aerobic exercise, like low impact, like I'm walking really fast. That's kind of where your heart rate is when you're in the sauna. So, and it's really hot, so it's, so it's kind of hard to breathe. Okay, moving on. So I always shower after my sauna. I usually don't wait at all. I usually get out of the sauna and go straight to the shower. Sometimes I like to do a little cold shower um, I don't do that all the time because I hate cold showers, but I do find some benefits with taking cold showers after your body is exposed to heat like this. So I do that sometimes, um, but I always shower after, I always wipe down with a towel. You want to get rid of the toxin that's coming out through your sweat. So you do this by washing off or like getting a towel and wiping off your sweat. And you don't want to reuse that towel. You wanna to get a fresh new towel each time because if you wipe off the sweat, you're gonna have those toxins on that towel. So just make sure that you're using a new towel each time. And some other things that I've noticed is that if I take a break from doing saunas regularly and then I come back and do them, I definitely have more like body odor and I would say that's just my body releasing toxins. Ideally you wouldn't have any kind of smell, but I do use a deodorant called Nude and it helps so much. It's such an amazing deodorant and it is an all natural deodorant, very clean ingredient. So I like to put that on my body and it'll help with the smell, if you know what I'm saying. So. Keep that in mind that you might smell a little bit more if you are new to doing the sauna. And I try to drink lots of water. So I have my large water bottle in here and I like to drink at least one of those while I'm in here. Oh my gosh, it's hard to talk. Another thing that I used to do is um, I used to take niacin right before getting into the sauna. And apparently that helps your detoxification even more and it helps open up your pores, I believe. But you gotta be careful with that stuff. It's very powerful and it can make your skin very like flushed and hot and you know, it makes the sauna experience kind of like 10 times harder. So I kind of stopped doing that. But if you really wanna like ramp up the detoxification, you should talk to your doctor about using niacin. Um, but some other things that I use, like herbs, I use dandelion root, milk thistle, and broccoli sprouts. Broccoli sprouts are the highest amount of sulforaphane that you can get. I, so I do try to have that, especially to help with the detoxification process. I really think it's great because you are pushing your body through a stressful experience. Like it's not, it's not really fun being in here sweating. Um, but I think it's great. I think it makes you a, a stronger mentally and physically stronger as well. Um, some other things I like to do is sometimes I will lay down and put my feet on the wall. And so that helps with lymphatic drainage as well. But yeah, I usually just take this time to meditate or I'll put like my laptop up and I'll watch something or I'll read or I'll even have some little weights and I'll do like little arm exercises while I'm in here. Really, I just take this time for myself. I usually don't have my phone in here or any other distractions like social media or anything like that. Um, I'm really just taking time for myself. And yeah, that's kind of it. This was a very quick video and I am sweating. I don't know if you can tell through the glass and everything, but it is hot. It's like 145 degrees right now, so I am um, sweating a lot. So anyways, I really wanted to make this video to encourage you to explore sauna therapy. Do what you can to sweat daily because it's so beneficial to your body. We're all exposed to so many toxins in this world, and the best way to get rid of toxins is to sweat. So... I'm encouraging you to find a sauna, get a sauna, whatever you need to do to sweat. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a like if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.